welcome to my kitchen! Naka general community quarantine na tayo and because of that, mas marami ng establishments ang open and it's now kind of easier to buy your ingredients. Pero I hope na all of you are watching eh, nagsistay pa rin kayo nyo sa inyong mga bahay unless really needed to go out. And of course, if you go out, do maintain social distancing and of course, wear masks, okay? So for today, gagawa ko ng isang recipe na naging trending ngayong quarantine season. Um, dahil nga marami ng mga groceries na open at bukas na ng Japanese groceries, I decided to make this dish not just because it's trending ha, pero dahil na rin nag-crave ang pamilya ko. So for today, I'll be making, I'll be sharing with you my own take on baked sushi. So let's start! Okay, so baked sushi, unang-una kailangan natin, of course, na gawin ay ang sushi rice. So for the sushi rice, advisable na gumamit tayo ng Japanese rice. Pero kung wala tayong makita ng Japanese rice, you could use any short grain rice that you can find. Pero kung wala pa rin kayo makita ng short grain rice, kung ano man na ginagamit nyo na pangsayin sa bahay nyo, pwede na yun. So I have here 3 cups of cooked rice. So ipaprepare ko lang yung ingredients na kailangan to make the sushi rice. So for that, we need our Japanese rice wine. If you can't find Japanese rice wine, Pwede rin kayong gumamit ng apple cider vinegar. That's also fine. So we need about 1 fourth cup of Japanese wine. Okay. So sa mga nanonood ngayon, don't worry. I'll be putting the ingredients sa comment section below or sa description box below so that you could also do this for your family. 2 tablespoons of white sugar. There. So, lagay lang natin sa lahat dito sa ating sauté pan. And salt. So, around um, 1 teaspoon of salt will do. Okay. Just 1 teaspoon. So, we'll just mix everything here sa ating sauté pan. And we will let the sugar melt into our vinegar. There you go. So, when we say sushi rice kasi, that's just vinegar rice. So, importante yung importante na sa ating sushi bake, malasa na yung ating rice. Okay? So, once it's melted, this is good. Okay, so melted na yung ating sugar. We now add it to our cooked rice. So, just mix like so. <coughs> mix lang natin to make sure that every part of our rice has our mixture. Okay, so once everything is properly incorporated, we now transfer it to a pan na pwede ilagay sa ating oven. Okay, ilagay lang natin siya dyan lahat. And we flatten it. Like so. So, yan yung base ng ating sushi bake. So, once flattened na yung ating sushi rice, we can set this aside. Yung mga nakikita ko ngayon na gumagawa ng sushi bake, they usually use Cani or yung ating crab sticks. Gagamit din ako nito, but I want to make it extra special because my family is going to eat this. So I'm using prawns. So for the prawns, all we need to do is just light up our pan, put a little bit of oil, and we will just cook our prawns. So very simple lang. Okay, so lagay na natin yung ating prawns once mainit na yung ating pot. So we'll just wait for this to cook. Ilang seconds lang yan. Kasi nga, prawns cook pa. So, until we see na nagbago na yung color niya, it's bright orange, then we could turn it to the other side. So just a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, so I have here already the prawns. We'll just let this cool down. And this is our tiny sticks or crab sticks. So what we're gonna do is just flick this, like so, and then we will chop it. One trivia lang about crab sticks ha. This one is not made from real crab meat. It's actually made from starch and some pulverized white fish. So, ginawa lang siya. Ang ginagawa sa kanya, white fish, pulverized white fish, and then starch. And then it is formed and colored and dyed para mag-resemble siya dun sa itsura ng ating uh, meat from the snow crab. 
So, ganyan lang muna. And then, just use the fork to flake it. So, we're using a lot. Kasi, syempre, importante masarap at punong-puno ng filling ang ating baked sushi or sushi bake. Okay, there. And then, I will just chop this. Just chop it like so. There, so I'll do the rest also. Para walang sayang, gamitin natin lahat. Okay, so once we chop our scab sticks, let's just get a bowl and transfer everything there. So dito sa bowl na to natin ilalagay na filling ingredients. Okay, so everything there. Okay, and then we get our cooked prawns and then we'll just chop it also like what we did with the roll. So just rough chop. Okay, so I have here our shrimp or prawns and our candy sticks. Next thing that we're gonna need is our cream cheese. So we need about um, one bar of softened cream cheese. So make sure that you take it out from the refrigerator already for a few hours para malambot na siya at mabilis na natin siyang mamimix together with the rest of the ingredients. So just mix that there. Okay, so once you've mixed in your cream cheese together with your meats or with your seafood, we now add in our Japanese mayo. So you can buy this from the Japanese grocery store. If you can't find this, pwede din kayong gumamit ng ordinary mayonnaise. It's fine. We just add a little bit of sesame oil para medyo meron lang siyang Asian flavor. So this, I need about one-fourth cup of Japanese mayo. Let's get everything and add it to our mixture. There. Mix, 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 mix everything like so. Make sure that everything is properly incorporated. Okay, so once everything is mixed, we now add in our sriracha sauce. So this will add kick or spice to your dish. Of course, you could use this sparingly. Optional lang dito. If you don't like it spicy, you could totally omit this. Or if you want the authentic Japanese flavor, you could use wasabi powder. Mix it with a little bit of water and add it to your mixture. So, kwante lang. To taste na yan kung gano'ng kadaming siracha ang gusto nyo. Kunti lang yan. Then we add it all together. So everything is now mixed. Let's go back to our sushi rice. So kailangan natin for this dish ang ating furikake seasoning. So nabibili ito sa mga Asian section, sa mga groceries. Or you could also buy this from the Japanese grocery stores. So let's just open this. Okay. Ayan na magpabukas. And we'll just sprinkle it on top of our sushi rice. So, ang furikake is a dry seasoning. Kadalas lang siya ginagamit sa rice, sa mga vegetables, sa fish. So, just sprinkle it there. It has mga dried fish. Meron ditong sesame seed. Meron din siyang seaweed. Ayan. So, pampalasa to. Just sprinkle it on top of your rice, like so. So, ayan, pakita natin. Dapat medyo marami-raming ilalagay natin para talagang flavorful yung ating dish. Okay, so nalagyan na natin ng furikake seasoning ating sushi rice. Now, we add in our topping. So, let's place it on top. There. And we'll spread it on our sushi rice. Ayan. So just make sure that every part of your sushi rice has a topping. Okay. So once we've placed all of our toppings on top of our sushi rice, we now add in more Furikake seasoning on top. Ayan. Para talagang flavorful ang ating dish. And since this is sushi bake, 
for baked sushi. I have my oven preheating already at around 170 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we will just put this in the oven and let this broil for around 5 to 7 minutes. So when I say broil, dapat yung heat galing sa taas para ito talaga mag-brown siya. Okay? So straight from the oven, I will just get my torch and I will just lightly torch para na may added effect. Ayan. If you don't have a torch, it's fine. So medyo pinamimelt ko pa yung mga cheese natin to brown the top of our sushi bake. Ayan. So here's my take on the famous sushi bake. I hope that you enjoyed watching today's video. And if you did, please of course don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to my channel. Mag-iisip pa ako ng mga ibang recipes which I could share to you next time. But in the meantime, please do stay at home, stay safe, and God bless you all. Ikman na natin. So, may nagbag ito. Seaweed, and let's just get a portion of this. Kunti lang, kasi malik na yung seaweed ko. Buka tayo niya. Look at that. Is it there? And I shall eat. Okay.